Well, we have been seeing a steady stream of travelers coming in and out of this airport all day long. Although, as you can see behind me here, things have calmed down quite a bit at this hour. You know, this is likely the busiest this airport has been all year since the beginning of this pandemic, but still nowhere near the crowds we typically see out here just two days before a major holiday. As Thanksgiving is now only two days away. I just feel like it's kind of maybe a way of rewarding ourselves for doing so good. So I think it's okay for us to still gather. Despite the CDC's recommendations to just stay home and not gather, Gregory Matthews is hopping in the car to head to two different family gatherings in the Sacramento area, one of which could have around 20 people. My mom and my dad are kind of older, so I don't want, you know, you, you just never know if this is going to be the last holiday that they'll you'll be able to spend. So uh, to me, that's a big part. Like I don't want to miss out and I don't want to have my kids miss out. While others are hopping on flights. You know, can't worry about it. We just got to keep living and enjoy our holiday as much as, as, as much as possible. This comes at a time when coronavirus cases are surging across the area, with more than a thousand new positive cases reported over the weekend. Holiday travelers are among those causing long lines at testing sites like this one at the Natomas Unified School District. There's a lot of concern about uh, people either gathering or going to crowded places. And so it will be in the next uh, two weeks that we will see an impact from any of those. And Sacramento County's public health officer, Dr. Kassiri, is still urging travelers to think twice before leaving. I would like to ask them to think again about the people that they're going to see. Many of them are going to see elderly parents, grandparents, and to think about the risk that they are posing to the people that they're going to come into contact with. Now, AAA is predicting that around 50 million Americans across our country will still travel this Thanksgiving. Now, we are also hearing that the majority of which are planning to travel by car. That's 92 percent planning to travel by car. All of these numbers are still 10 percent less than the numbers we saw last year. Again, according to AAA. Now, keep in mind that our statewide travel advisory is in effect until December 21st, which means they California health officials are asking you if you do leave the state to self quarantine at home for 14 days when you come back back to you. Lena, thank you. Certainly going to be a different Thanksgiving this year during this pandemic.